Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying the difference between set timeout and set interval in JavaScript. Set timeout and set interval are two time based browser APIs that JavaScript uses to execute functions at different periods of time, sometimes repeatedly, sometimes after a specific delay. In this video, I'll be explaining what set timeout is, what set interval is, using examples so that you'll be able to understand the difference between in the both of them. Let's start from set timeout. What is set timeout? Set timeout is a function that allows you to execute another function after a specified time. Let's see the syntax. So we have set timeout and then you have the function that you want to execute after a specified time and then you specify the time argument which is going to be the delay before the function is executed. This time argument is in milliseconds so one second is going to be 1000 like this. Now let's see an example. So let's say we have a function that says print hello and then this function is only going to console.log hello we can come here and we can say set timeout we can pass the print hello function and then we can pass maybe two seconds like this if I come here and I run this file you're going to see after two seconds you would have hello log to the console now without specifying the function like this you can also bring the function definition right here like this and I'm going to remove it like this so it looks like this if you come here and run node test it's going to be the same thing you can also have an arrow function so I'm going to remove this and then I have an arrow function just like this and if you run it it's still going to be the same thing so you can think of the time argument as a countdown before the function runs now what if you want to cancel a timeout maybe you don't want that function to be executed anymore well the set timeout function returns an ID so you can assign that ID like this let's call it timeout ID is equals to set timeout this and then using the clear timeout function you can cancel this timeout if it hasn't been executed yet so here we have two seconds delay before this function is executed but since we are calling clear timeout on the next line you're going to see that javascript is not going to wait for two seconds anymore you can see nothing is logged to the console but if for example we have another set timeout and in this set timeout we call clear timeout id like this and then we pass three seconds that means after three seconds this clear timeout should be called it's not going to stop the timeout because this is two seconds so it would have already run and then there will be nothing for this clear timeout to clear so that's it about set timeout what about set interval set interval is a function that allows you to execute a function at specified intervals for example executing a function every one second every five seconds every 10 seconds let's look at the syntax for set interval it's actually very similar to set timeout you have the function that you want to call at specified intervals and then you have the time argument which is going to serve as the interval so again this is a millisecond so if you have 1000 it's going to execute this function every one second if you have 2000 it's going to execute this function every one second so let's see an example i'm going to declare my function print hello again and then this print hello is going to console.log hello like this and then i can come down here and i can say set interval and then here i'm going to pass print hello and then for the interval i'm going to set one second like this if i come here clear the console and I run node test you can see after one second hello after another one second hello hello and then it's going to keep going until you close your application also you can make this an arrow function if you want you don't have to declare it and pass the name so I can actually do something like this console.log hello I'll clear this line and if I come here and I run node test you can see again every one second hello 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 similar to set timeout set interval also has clear interval which is used to cancel an ongoing interval also this set interval returns an id so i can say interval id like this and then i can clear the interval id like this if i come here and i run node test you can see the interval is already cleared because of the clear interval function that we have let me show you another example where i use set timeout to call clear interval id after three seconds so that means this interval is going to run for three seconds and after three seconds the interval is going to be cleared let's see how that works after one second hello 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 oh the third hello is not even called because clear interval already cancels the interval so let's make this maybe 3500 milliseconds if I run the test hello 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 
and then the interval is cleared. So this is the difference between set timeout and set interval. Set timeout allows you to execute a function after a period of time, but it's only going to be executed once, while set interval allows you to execute a function repeatedly after a specified interval. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications for more concepts I'll be simplifying in JavaScript.